Virgos, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. This is going to be for January 8th or the 15th. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Not all the messages will resonate. And if you want something tailored specifically for you, the link to book that is in the description box below. The gender of the cards don't matter. This could resonate vice versa. So cross watchers, I could be picking up on your energy and not the person that you're watching for. First card that we have is the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Swords in Reverse. Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands. Three of Wands. The Lovers and the Seven of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay, so the way I'm seeing it, my Virgos could be dealing with two different people, um, having a choice between two lovers or just two options. There's something that's going on when it comes to your, your family members or something in regards to your emotional fulfillment. Some of you could be wanting some type of new opportunity or new start or just feeling like you're not being fulfilled where you're at. You do have your back turned, so I feel like you're not in your usual grounded energy. Something could be taking your focus um, away from yourself and grounding yourself because I do see that you have a lack of clarity when it comes to something. There is some truth that is yet to be revealed, and whatever this truth is, because it hasn't been revealed yet, you're in this period of confusion, illusions, and trying to explore your options to see what option would be the best for you. Some of you have a choice to make between two different people, while others you just have to make a decision between choice A or B. This could be something between staying or going, investing or not investing, you know, you get the gist. You're carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders right now though. With the Ten of Wands, this is all about having stress, burdens, carrying other people's weight on your shoulders. I feel like for some of you, you may be picking up the slack for other people that are lacking um, or just trying to do more than your fair share and it's starting to take a toll on you and your body as well. So this is telling me that most of my Virgos should be working on resting, even getting some fresh air outside in nature. Some of you are spending too much time indoors and this is taking a toll on you because you are an earth sign. So it does require you to be outside more than most signs from what I'm seeing. With the Ace of Wands, there's gonna be a new opportunity that comes in. This new opportunity is on the verge of being brewed. So this could be anything anywhere between one to two weeks before this new start shows up i feel like it's something that's gonna put that creative spark back in you something that's gonna create drive and passion while others you may be dealing with a woman or some type of female feminine energy it doesn't have to be a woman it could be a male but whoever this person is it's someone that has you feeling burdened um, because they're not investing in you the way that they usually are. The Queen of Cups is usually someone who's very loving, nurturing, compassionate, but when they have their back turned, they could be someone who's over-emotional, someone who could be emotionally manipulative, or just, you know, someone that's not in their best energy. The Queen of Cups usually is injured um, for them to be in this stance of having their back turned. So this person may have had their emotions or their feelings hurt in some type of way. This caused them to turn their back and just put their focus back on themselves and something that's taking their energy on their end. With the lovers, someone here may have had a choice between you know two people. One of these people didn't really give you the truth of, or the clarity that you're seeking, while this other person is someone that you have a deep, strong connection to. This other person is someone that kind of just overrides all of your other options, and I feel like you seem to have your focus on this person in particular, or vice versa. If you're dealing with, you know, a Virgo, my cross watchers, this Virgo could have a, an option between, you know, you and someone else, and depending on who you are in this scenario, I feel like um, this person... The Virgo may be thinking about the future, thinking about where it is that they want to go next, thinking about where it is that they want to invest their time, energy, and effort into. Some of you, this Queen of Cups is the person that's causing you burdens and stress because they're not pulling their own weight. Or, let's see why they're causing you issues. So, why are you feeling these burdens? Yeah, because you're trying to juggle something. Juggle finances, juggle, you know, pentacles, and new love at the same time. So, some of you have to have um, some type of focus when it comes to career and your finances. Meanwhile, at the same time, you could be trying to juggle love, a relationship, 
or just wanting to attract something new and authentic into your life. And this is going to happen, which is why I said it's brewing in the air. It's only a matter of time before this comes through. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Because you may have been dealing with someone in the past um, that didn't really put as much time, effort, and energy into you. This was someone that was more of a taker. This was someone between the ages of 20 and 35. They could have been in Virgo like yourself or an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But this person, I feel like they didn't have the best of intentions and they concealed... Um, what they really wanted from you, which may have just been help, financial help, or just wanting handouts in some type of way. This is someone that you thought was going to bring you emotional fulfillment and the way I'm seeing it. They ended up just wounding you. They ended up causing you more pain and stress. And this caused you to retreat in some type of way and isolate yourself away from whoever this person may be. With the King of Swords, right now you're trying to use your discernment and, and stand in your truth. The King of Swords is the energy of not playing any games, kind of being cold, ruthless, wanting to have structure in your life. So if your life has been kind of chaotic, I feel like right now you're going to be pulled to um, finding some type of routine or structure in your life. With the King of Swords, this is all about wanting to stand in your truth, someone who's honorable, someone that has integrity, and that's the energy that you're trying to adopt at this moment. Why? Because you want to rush in towards someone or you want to rush in into a new opportunity. But the Nine of Wands is usually a passionate energy that kind of just rushes in and out into things. So this tells me that you kind of need to think things through. Um, don't really speak without thinking because sometimes Virgos tend to be harsh or cutthroat with our words. So just be careful with that. But I feel like right now you're on the verge of communicating about either wanting to find another partner or wanting to communicate about some type of new beginning. This new beginning for some of you requires some type of move. This could be a physical move um, or some type of movement. Let me see, what kind of movement is this with the Eight of Wands? This could be communication. So some of you may want to communicate to, with someone about the fact that you want to offer a cup of love. You want to have some type of new beginning with them. But at the same time, you know, you're feeling imbalanced because this would require you to juggle, not just work, school. You know, it's an issue of having too many burdens in your hands that you feel like this may get into. What I'm trying to say is you. OK, I'm trying to say is. You want a connection or you want to have some type of relationship or a new beginning with someone. But because of the fact that you are already carrying so much burdens and stress on your shoulders, you're worried that you either won't have enough time for this person or just that you won't be able to juggle everything all together. But you just have to take a stance. Look at your options because you definitely have options. You just have to move fast and forward um, and fearlessly towards them because whoever this person was that you were dealing with in the past, they really took advantage of you and your kindness. And I feel like this kind of pushed you back as far as your morale and your self-esteem. But the reason why this happened was so you can establish stronger boundaries so that you don't let energy suckers and energy vampires come into your life and just take from you and leave as they please. This is so you can have learned the lesson of not to put in work into people that aren't doing the same thing for you, which is why there was this emphasis on an equal give and take, on you know reciprocity, and that's really what it is that you're looking for. Some of you may be thinking about traveling or just trying to get away in some type of way, but I feel like being around nature and trees is something that will be beneficial to you. This will really help you think about the future. It will help you clear your thoughts and help you figure out what it is that you want and what you want to move towards. Just know moving forward, you are going to be a bit defensive. Um, with the Knight of Swords, I feel like someone may try to come in, but whoever this person is, beware of... The fact that they may try to rush into a connection with you. I feel like if someone tries to come in and they immediately want to be in a relationship, that should be a red flag that this person may be codependent and they may be reliant on my energy um, more than they normally should. But some of you could be going through some type of breakup or you're in that post breakup energy where you're transitioning um, between, you know, either being in a relationship and getting out of one or being single and trying to get back into a relationship but not really knowing how you're going to juggle everything. Just be patient with yourself. If you really um, 
have deep feelings for someone, be honest, communicate with them. And I feel like everything will work out the way that you, yeah, everything will work out. With the Four of Wands, you're going to end up finding that union, that foundation, that celebration that you're looking for. But right now, you could be in the energy of stressing out, not really sleeping well, having anxiety, losing hair, losing teeth, losing sleep. You know, that's the energy of the Knight of Swords. Like, not stress um, is honestly terrible for the body. So right now, what you're being asked to do is just to focus on yourself. Don't deceive yourself as far as, you know, what it is that you want. Don't deceive yourself when it comes to your emotions. If someone hurts you, the best thing to do is to feel those emotions fully so that you can let them go and not deceive yourself about, you know, how you actually feel because there could have been someone around you that manipulated you. And this is what's going to be brought to light. You're going to have clarity about this because the lack of clarity that you were having before was what was, what was keeping you from being able to move forward 100%. And it was what was keeping you stuck because not only are you carrying other people's burdens, but you're carrying your, your own burdens as well. I feel like the justice card is telling me that everything is going to come back full circle. So if someone did take advantage of you in the past, just know that all of that energy is going to be thrown right back at them. And for you, if you have nothing to worry about, if you've been treating people with respect and kindness, then you know that you have good karma waiting for you as well. And that, the way I'm seeing it with the four of wands here, it's going to be good things that are coming for you. You just have to find the inner strength to deal with your inner childhood wounds, whether this is abandonment issues, codependency, or just not really wanting to be alone. We all have issues that we need to deal with within ourselves. That's our journey. It's our path. And I feel like the closer... Um, you get to your inner healing, the, co the closer you will get to home, the closer you'll get to God, the closer you get to your dreams. Um, so just work on yourself and you'll find that happiness. You'll find the happiness, the sun, the healing, the emotional fulfillment, emotional contentment. And you may even end up gaining a family member in the midst of all of this. So just push through. Everything's going to work out great. And that's the end of your reading. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.